What's up, bro? Say this shit, fam. Y'all know how fucked I look, fam. I look like I'm about to do some purge fucking hectic murder shit, fam. But honestly, I'm a nice dude. You know, just don't get on my bad side, fam. But I don't know, fam. You know why I need to wear this mask, bro? Do you know why, fam? Because of corporate politics and all the bullshit that comes with it. And if you're someone like me who has a creative edge, or you gotta create yourself music, rap. And I know some of y'all be saying, well, you could just make, you know, nice music, classical music, the standard pop shit, you know, like, you know, like my song Forever Kiss or whatever, like my Latin music. I could, but it wouldn't fully let me express myself, man. You know what I'm trying to say? And when you join a corporate job, they don't like this shit, bro. They don't like you having an image. Corporate jobs, they kill your individuality. And you don't even realize it. They'll monitor your online work. They'll monitor what you do. They have whole teams designed to do that shit. You know what I'm trying to say? And to be honest, man, it's just a ticking time bomb. Because holy, bro, if you guys don't even understand how much fucking music I really have... And I don't know if y'all been hearing, like, you know, my actual fucking drill music. And not this shit that I have right now, like, actual drill music. Yeah, when I get the time, I can maybe express myself. I'll be able to do some shit, so. Just think about it like this, man. And this is why I need you guys to fucking level the fuck up, so. Because I'm trying, right? I'm fucking trying, dead ass. Right? Bro, I'm in a fucking parking lot. With this mask on Imagine you pull up And you see this shit You know you're not gonna Fucking run away fam You're 100% running <laughs> Some people they, they, they give me a thumbs up It's the funniest shit Anyways Anyways This is why I need you To level up Especially if you're an artist You can't be doing this shit Cause you know your job's Holding you back Right So for now We gotta wear a mask For now We gotta hide our face For now We gotta wear you know, balaclava, a whole bunch of random ass shit. We got to be in the dark. It's part of the game, you know. But you should never be able, you know, you should never be, you should never be afraid to express yourself, fam. Just imagine this shit, right? And this is why they say after the age of twenty-five, bear mans really die. After the age of twenty-five, bear mans and things really die, not in the way that you think. But they lose that dream part of them, you know? They get hit with the uh, reality check in life. And they say, oh man, I'm 25 now. I can't be taking these weird risks, bro. I can't be making music. I can't become a rapper. I can't become a gangster. I can't become this. I can't do that. Because you reach that certain point and everyone's gonna judge me. My guy, I'm 26 and I'm telling you within three, four years, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be fucking everywhere. I'm being honest, fam. <sighs> I'll give you an example. The way that I talk right now, you think I could talk like this in an office? No. It's the way that I was raised, right? You can try to take, you know, that's why they say, you know, you can't take the hood out of a man. The way that I talk right now, it's gonna be with me for a long time, but I'm still smart. Because if I really wanted to talk normal, then I could. It's about effort, you know what I'm trying to say? You can turn back your accent, you can turn back your whatever, they call it cold switching, call whatever the hell that shit is, I don't care about that shit. It's the matter of, why do I need to put on effort for me to change myself to appeal to you? And that's why I'm a die being me. You know what I'm trying to say? And this brings me to the other point, fam. And this is why I don't want no love in my life. People really die for this music shit, you know? And you gotta really understand, Music is your mind. What I write on my paper, in my lyrics, that's my mind. So when a man attacks my music, and I know it, there's like levels of shit. Like, you know, if it sounds like shit, all right, shit, whatever, right? But if a man's like saying some like hectic shit or whatever the fuck it is, it's a little bit of a way of an attack, fam. You know what I'm trying to say? And people will attack your art, they will judge you, whatever the fuck it is. It's life. Shit happens. When you used to this shit, it is what it is, fam. You know? But you gotta fucking not lose yourself and conform to what people think. Because sometimes, fam, you have to mold and sculpt yourself into who you're gonna become. You know what I'm trying to say? 
I might sound like, you know, this right now. But in a few years, I might be like, yo, what? you know what, son? I'm going to go fucking lyrical. And I might spin fucking circles around J. Cole. Some of y'all are going to be like, bro, that's impossible. J. Cole's the best rapper. Wrong. The best rapper's already alive, but he never took it fucking serious. The best rappers are the ones that you fucking, you already know who the fuck it is. They're like your classmates and shit, but they never took rap serious. They never took it serious because they never wanted to. The odds are against them, fam. There's too much rappers, fam. There's too much of this, fam. Why do you guys think, fam? I don't know if y'all but listen to my music. Why do you think I'd fucking sound so fucking different? Right? Like, I try to get, like, some crazy fucking hooks, fam. And, like, some, I put my energy into this fucking music. You listen to Joe Fever, you listen to the hook. You're not gonna find a fucking hook like that anywhere in your fucking world. Anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world. Serious shit. Thun Thun are a little bit of a basic hook. But it works. But the concept, you're not gonna find that shit. So many people can easily just write a chorus and a verse and be like, Alright bro, I'm a rapper now, I'm good. Millions of rappers, no one gives a fuck. I don't even give a fuck. I listen to Drake's shit, I'm like, yo, I don't give a fuck about this shit. I don't relate to this shit. I don't care about how much you're flexing on me. And if you're really from Toronto, not the six. I don't live in the six, fam. I don't live in Drake City, fam. That's not how this works for me. I live in T Dot. That's the place that I was born and raised. If you're from my end, fam, you know that these mans, they ruined my city, fam. The six, bro, listen, listen. My bad, my bad. The six, it became a tourist city, fam. And that's why there's gentrification up the fucking roof. Up the fucking roof. And that's why mans like me, I was talking to my mom the other day, right? Right now, I pay about 1200 for rent. Hydro, all that shit, right? It's just me and my mom's. The same fucking building, same apartment, right now, 2021 prices, almost two bands, $2,000, and I'm paying $1,200 right now because I'm at a locked rate, right, and they can't fucking jump it out, they can't kick out nothing in that, right, I told my mom, like, yo, there's no reason for us to fucking move out, if we move out, we're just gonna struggle even more, we're fucked, so we can't move out, so now I'm stuck in the hood, I'm stuck in a fucking stupid place, and the rate at which life is getting more expensive with inflation. Because, fam, I have an economics degree. I have an actual fucking bachelor's degree. So, I don't want to talk fucking professional. The way that life is getting fucking more expensive, it's harder for men like me to actually make it out. To literally make it out. So, I'm going to be stuck in this fucking area for a while. And then I thought, you know what, fam? If I'm going to be stuck here... I'm just going to fucking do whatever the fuck I want to do. And that's the hood life mentality. That's the mentality that I fucking adopted. I wrote a track called The System Failed Me. Fam, in grade 12, I had like a 90 average. I got a scholarship, went to university. Second and third year, I didn't like that shit. I lost so much motivation because I, I majored in like biochemistry. Shit was ass. Shit was literally ass. It was so fucking ass. University is fucking dog shit. I highly advise against this shit, bro. Spend a year fucking doing, learning yourself. How about that, fam? Spend a fucking year after you finish high school. Not not this, you know, delayed year bullshit. No. Spend a year learning what the fuck you actually want to do. Because since you were five years old, you were told what you want to do. Oh, yeah, take geography. Take this. Take this. Fam. Take the initiative. Go on YouTube. Learn fucking coding. You don't need school for this shit. Learn whatever the fuck you want to do. I found out that I liked music when I was 24. I'm 26 now, two years in. Just like that. And I realized I'd rather be broke and make fucking music than go in this path, you know, into this career that I'm in right now and further myself with promotions, doing all of this bullshit just to make a little bit more money. And then by the time I can afford a fucking crib, fam, I'm gonna be a fucking house poor. Do you know what house poor is? House poor is when you get a fucking mortgage and you live basically check to check. And people will say, yeah, but you know, you can sell the house later and you build equity. You think I want to fucking go back to that life? Yo, you think I want to be house poor? Work two to three fucking jobs and kill myself for some bullshit fucking dream? Nothing fucking makes sense to me. And this is why I hate Toronto, fam. 
I don't like my city, fam. Because they ruined it. They legit ruined the city of Toronto. Fuck the six, fam. I'm from T Dot, fam. I have a track called The Dark Side of Toronto. I never released that shit. There's a reason why, if you look at my post, fam, I'm trying to make a whole bunch of like, random other crews and gangs and whatever. I don't give a fuck about this area. My shit's gonna be fucking worldwide. Number one thing, fam, if you wanna make it as an artist, let go of your fucking city. Let go of your fucking city. Three to five million people in your city. All right, you can get some local help, local whatever. Who the fuck cares? There's eight billion people in the fucking world. Do you realize that shit? How much is the percentage of three million people compared to eight billion people or 7.9 billion people? Do you realize how stupid some of y'all fucking look when you keep saying, yeah, fam, man, they're from Toronto, so I'm gonna make Toronto music, fam. I'm ready with the Toronto shits, fam. Yeah, well, you're only fucking catering to the people that are right here. You think when I use Toronto slang, and I, I regret this, man. That's why I might do the verse and drill fever again. You think man's in like fucking UK? Bro, bro I have bare listeners in the United States, UK, Russia, Japan. You think those mans know anything about Toronto slang? No. Drop the fucking slang if you're trying to actually make it. Drop your city if you're trying to make it. Drop it, fam. This whole fucking world is like a trap, fam. And it sucks, fam, because I don't, I, know, I don't know if you know. But you can probably tell. I have, like, some weird ADHD shit, right? That's how my minds are going like this. My thoughts are going like this. But it only makes sense because I connect the stories. I connect the dots, right? ADHD and having a creative itch, fam, it literally feels like hell in my head when I'm forced to work a job and go down a career path for 40 fucking years on 9 to 5. That's the real trap. Man's been saying, yo fam, you're in the band, or you're in the trap, bro. You're, you're in hip-hop, you're in the trap, bro. A 9 to 5 for 40 years is the fucking trap to someone who's creative. To someone who doesn't want to lose their fucking originality. And you know what the worst shit is? I'm 26 now, right? I'm gonna get 27, whatever, next year. Some man's gonna be like, bro, just grow up. Fam, just grow up. Just grow up and accept the fact that you have to work 40 years for the rest of your life like us. Because we all gave up on life. Just grow up, fam. Nigga, do I look like I give up on fucking life? I swear to God, fam. When I get the fucking chance, I'm going to do a fucking TED Talk. I'm going to wake the ghetto people the fuck up. Literally, fam. People like me, we verse, we've been facing adversity our whole fucking lives. Don't ever tell me to fucking grow up. Don't ever tell me how to live my fucking life. What some of you rich mans are going to watch this one day and be like, yo, why are you talking like this? What the fuck? You don't know what kind of fucking mentality us mans have, fam. You think when I get rich, fam, I want to fucking stay in the city that made me fucking like this? Who on their right mind? I I had a youth, right? I had a kid. A youth is a kid. You think I want to raise my kid in a city where I became this? Do you think I want to raise my kid in Toronto when I became this? I can't even build a fucking proper life here, fam, because I'm with my mom. No disrespect to her, right? Me and my mom have been together all my life. But I can't build a proper life and take hectic risks and do whatever the fuck it is because it's called responsibility. And dependency and all that shit. And sometimes you can't take full risks on bare shit, fam. No one will risk anything for you except you. Deep down, fam. Some people will say they got you. Some people will say, yeah, they support the vision and the fucking dream. But you know deep down what it is, fam. So please don't fucking give up. Don't die at 25 like these fucking pussies all over the fucking world. Mans are out here accepting 9 to 5s. For some of you, it's okay. But for people like me who are fucking trapped, imagine this, $1,200 rent for the same room, now it's $2,000. If I get kicked out, you know how fucked me and my mom are. There's no fucking way I could ever build wealth in any of my fucking bloodlines, nothing. And my kids are going to join the life of poverty. And I'm not having that. So that's why I'm rapping. My dream.